Hey everyone, um, I'm trapped in a snow blizzard. I was supposed to go on vacation last night and we got snowed in in New York in a major way. So I'm kind of stuck in the house, all packed up with <laughs> nothing to do but make YouTube videos. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so this one was recommended or suggested by my friend Brooke. A little how to on turning your makeup from day to night. I get this question all the time from magazines and blogs and clients about I need to look I need I need a look for day and I need to look for night or how do you go from day to night and um, I think people think you have to have like two separate bags of makeup or something or or that when the sun goes down you're supposed to all of a sudden like be really vampy and nighttimey and um, that just kind of sometimes makes you look like a totally different person so I'm just going to show you how I would do it how I suggest doing it and what I tell other people to do and um, take it from there. First I'm going to tell you what I have on right now that is the day look. I have tinted moisturizer, um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Arden tinted moisturizer, uh, where'd it go? Mascara. Almay mascara, in, intense eye color mascara. Um, one eyeshadow, which is from this Tartan collection, the, the Holiday Mac collection, just the light one right here. A little sweep over the lid, that's it. No liner. Um, a little bit of Dolly Mix blush, and this Nivea uh, Kiss of Shine. It's like a little, it's got a tiny bit of color, and I love these. They're not sticky at all. They're really moisturizing. It used to be that you couldn't get them in the States and you had to order them from somewhere, but I think now you can get them on Amazon, or maybe now you can even get them in any drugstore. I don't know. Okay, so uh, starting with the eyes. I'm going to use Sketch from MAC, right here, you guys probably all know it, and all I want to do is just stick it in the corner. I don't really want to create a smoky eye, I just want to intensify what I already have. So I'm just really like drawing in a V, getting a lot of product on there and just drawing it in like a V, just like that, and then, you know, going back and blending it. And you can bring it up as high as you want. You can bring it up, kind of up onto your bone, or you can kind of keep it down close to your lash line. It doesn't really matter. But I want it to be pretty deep in color, right in that outer corner, because that's what's going to create kind of a smoldery, sexy look. And then I'm just going to bring, gently bring it down underneath, just to connect the top and the bottom. It doesn't have to be very dark, or very precise for that matter. And then, presuming you're wearing that, you know, first kind of natural color to work or to day or whatever, you really just need two to amp it up for night. You need the corner color, and then ideally, but you don't have to, ideally you'd want something even darker. So I'm going to use... Thunderball, which is right here from NARS. I didn't really show you guys that, but you can't really see it right here. One of my all-time favorite colors. It's like a peacock blue-gray. But you could do black. You could do anything that's really rich. And I'm just going to push a little more right into the upper lash line just to give, just to accentuate my lash line. If you, if you have mascara on that's been on all day and you think your lashes can handle it, then go ahead and curl them. Mine tend to be pretty strong, so I'm okay with doing this. I don't know that I would do it every day on, after mascara, and I certainly wouldn't do it um, while they're wet because that's just a mess, but for the sake of this look, I'm going to do them now and then go ahead and put an extra coat of mascara on. And even though you have mascara on from your daytime, you can still, hopefully your mascara is buildable, you know, every commercial out there brags about that. So, it should work. And this is where you can really spend a lot of time building it and getting every little lash from the root all the way to the tip, especially these little guys right in here. They always get left out. And when they have mascara on them, 
They really help bring the eye to life. Next, I'm going to use this little NARS Duo. It's got uh, Copacabana and St. Bart's multiple stick, but in a palette, so that's kind of nice. I'm going to take the St. Bart's, which is the darker one, and I'm just going to kind of like swipe it on my cheek right over that pink blush that I have. It just gives a little warmth. Some, some people this can be muddy on. I, you know, I think it's not super dark, so if you're pretty tan or you've got really dark skin, it tends to look kind of muddy, but I'm kind of right on the cusp right now. Um, but if you don't want to use it, you could just do a little bit of bronzer. I just like it because it has shimmer. And then take the Copacabana. What I like to do is run it down the bridge of my nose, along the brow line, and then join it with the St. Bart's right under the cheekbone. And then finally, I actually like to bring it kind of right around the edge of my lips. Kind of um, pops the lips out. It gives like the highlight around them, but the, the consistency of Copacabana, which is one of my Hall of Famers, couldn't live without that stuff, works well. Lipstick is High Tea from MAC. And gloss is um, uh, Greek Holiday from NARS. Hear that wind? It's like nutty around here. So this is sort of um, the, uh, like a nighttime look. You can see it's it's not smoky. For a lot of people, this would be too much for the day. For a lot of people, this is completely natural during the day. But a lot of my friends are very natural and don't wear a lot to work, but they want to look a little more special when they go out at night. So this is a good look. I think it's a nice medium. Um, all right. So hope you enjoyed, and I will, I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks. Bye.